transformational leadership will come in. Transformational leadership is big today in, in organizations who are aware of it. They're using it to train their managers. A lot of companies are not even aware of it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're not even, if, if they were using it here at NIC. I haven't really seen any characteristics of it yet. But big companies who are aware of it are using it to mo motivate their employees and to form their leaders. So essentially, leadership in, in this vein, leadership is empowering steward, stewardship that nurtures human potential, and it promotes the inner self-development of moral autonomy through its appeal to higher commonly shared values. Furthermore, it articulates a systemic vision that inspires followers to become united towards achieving a more desirable future. So key points in this is it's empowering, meaning it allows the uh, follower or the <coughs> sense of power of their own things to guide the, their destiny and the destiny of the organization in, in many concepts. It is stewardship, which is similar to empowership. It's, it's like coaching. It nurtures human potential as opposed to putting it down. It promotes the inner self-development of moral autonomy. When I'm speaking of moral autonomy, autonomy is self-governance. So it talks about uh, guiding yourself with decent values. So that's what moral autonomy relates to. It appeals to the higher commonly shared values. We all share similar values on a higher end scale. So values such as truth, equality, and justice. We share those. And this type of leadership appeals to that. It articulates a systemic vision. When I use that term systemic, it's how everything relates together. It's not everything in an isolated portion. It's how it all comes together as a whole system. And that takes all this, all these qualities, and it will inspire the person to become united to achieving a more desirable future. This is where the vision ties in. Uniting the group to achieve the vision. 